hey guys my name is sammy and today's workout is going to be all about finding your lower abdominals you don't need anything but a mat today just a quick note before we get started you may have been told that when you work your abdominals to imprint your lower back into the mat and what that often does is it creates a posterior pelvic tilt and now you're building your muscles like this instead of like this up nice and tall so while some backs may go into the ground even while their pelvis is nice and long and their tailbones down we'll go over this more most people will have a little space under their lower back which it naturally does concave in that area so honoring the natural curves of the spine is okay we're going to work on finding that balance and of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments if you're confused or anything. I'd love to try and help you out. I wanna make Pilates accessible for everybody. Let's get started. So you're gonna lie all the way down onto your back. And it's really cold in Germany, so I'm leaving my sweatshirt on for a little bit, but I will pull it up so you can see what's happening. Now I want you to slowly walk your feet away from you until you feel like the the whole pelvic area is like anchored down into the mat so as you come in you might feel the weight kind of transfer up your back and then as you walk out get more distal you'll feel more weighted in the pelvis so now and i've talked about the diamond shape before but if you haven't seen any of those videos i'll go over it you're going to make a diamond shape with your hands like this lift your head and place that diamond shape right over your pelvis you're quite low with your fingers okay i want you to scoop under which is what we just talked about how people tell you to imprint your lower back when you're working your abs i do want you to do that scoop 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 now this does allow you to feel something turn on a bit easier okay but now you can rest your head if you need to now you're going to roll your pelvis farther away from you to find that anchor again where you feel really grounded through all of the pelvis all right so i'm going to put my hands here so maybe you can see a little bit more you're going to scoop under really try to feel those abdominals and then try to keep that engagement in your abdominals as you roll the pelvis and if you have your diamond roll the pelvis to find that anchored spot again do it again so you're going to tuck the pelvis under when you imprint your lower back that's tucking under i know this can get confusing and you're going to scoop 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 now try to hold all of that engagement as you roll the pelvis out and you can lift your head if you need to and see you want to make sure that you're really trying to get your diamond shape completely level without losing those muscles so this is what's hard is how do we build those muscles in a more heavy pelvis elongated tailbone and if there's space under here that's fine okay so now i want you to go the opposite way so if you had your diamond shape now you're rolling to where your back is quite lifted just make sure you go to your stopping point you don't want to get hurt there's no point in that all right so if you really have a pelvic tuck a posterior pelvic tilt this might not happen for you but keep trying and then you're gonna pull back find neutral try to find that stomach engagement might not happen yet and now do the pelvic tuck under so you can really find it pull through those abdominals pull down into the mat now try to keep that as you go to neutral this is your neutral pelvis where your diamond shape would be completely level now try to keep it as you go into an anterior pelvic tilt where you're rolling the other way and your back is coming off now chances are your belly is losing the engagement in this position you're going to keep trying much harder there now start to move the pelvis back to neutral keep everything nice and weighted and then do it again so you're going to go under really scoop 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 now keep that engagement and find neutral and go the opposite direction and again pull under scoop 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 and go the other direction notice how i'm not taking my chest with me i'm only moving the lower part of my body 
scoop, 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 and, un and under. Now go the opposite direction. We're gonna do one more scoop so you can find those lower abdominals. And then you're gonna keep that engagement and find neutral. Maybe lift your head, see if you are in fact in neutral and try to hold it there. Now, from here, we're gonna work on your breath. So I want you to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Now you're gonna inhale and let your belly lift. Exhale, let the belly fall. Now I want you to, the reason your hand's on your chest, no air up here, okay? It's all into the belly, the diaphragm, inhale. Exhale. Now, pay attention to this next one. If you have no breath in your chest, inhale, you lift the belly. You should start to feel more than just your belly fill up in order for you to get more breath into that diaphragm. You should feel the sides in your back. Exhale. All right, so now letting the belly lift as you breathe is incorrect breathing. So now you're gonna inhale and you're gonna pull the stomach down towards the mat. Exhale, pull down deeper. Take note that when you're pulling down, you're not letting the pelvis go with you. So there's always a tug of war. So you are fighting the tailbone and you are pulling that lower stomach down. Think about trying to get right above your butt, that like where that um, shelf would be. Think about trying to get that wider and a little more pressure right above the, the glutes there so that you're not doing the belly button too much. All right, so you're gonna inhale, pull the stomach down, pull the abdominals down. Exhale, pull down deeper. Inhale, pull down. Exhale, try to pull down deeper. Inhale, pull down more. Exhale, pull down a little deeper. You should really feel those abdominals working just from your breath and from fighting to keep your tailbone nice and heavy. Inhale. Exhale. And notice if your um, chest is filling up. Don't let it. And exhale. Go ahead and rest a second. If your chest is filling, and your breath might feel a little restricted, not a big deal, you, it, it will get better. But you want to keep, <clears throat> excuse me, the belly breaths, what filled up, you wanna try and keep that. So as you're pulling down and you're not breathing up here, it should force the air into your sides and back for that 360 diaphragmatic breath. Because as we're doing Pilates, if the belly is lifting, then we're not building our abdominal muscles to go down, we're building them to go out. So it's, the breath is really important, and as you can see, hopefully, the more you do this, if not yet, that just breathing properly is going to work your entire pelvic floor, your abdominals, okay? All right, so hands by your sides, and now you're going to do a scoop under. We're gonna do this quite a few times just because it helps you to find your abdominals. Try to keep that as you go out. All right, now you're gonna hold in that neutral pelvis and bring one knee to tabletop and put it back down. And again, one knee tabletop, just stick with the same leg, I'm doing my right, and back down. All right, so no holding your breath, remember that same breath we just did. Inhale to lift, exhale, and again. I'm a little lopsided in my hips, so I'm gonna double check that. You can always lift to double check, inhale, Exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, other side. So you should notice if you put this down and then you lift the other one and you sink, you have to be a little bit more mindful It it will come with time again, be patient with yourself, but it won't change unless you notice it, okay? Now, other side, inhale, exhale. And if you, on your own, need to do that pelvic tuck, that's fine too. Inhale, exhale. Feel free to lift, especially if you don't have an instructor there. Exhale, and again, 
inhale exhale pull down pull down pull down one more pull down pull down pull down good now you're gonna bring the first leg up and you're going to try and switch in the air without anything shifting so you can do your pelvic tuck if you need to in fact just do that put your foot down do that scoop keep the engagement find weight now one leg comes up inhale switch exhale so here is where you also need to start focusing on your upper abdominals if not today that's fine but you want to make sure that you're not completely flaring your ribs there should not be space between your mat and your upper back so that's also got to pull down when you're ready think about it okay now inhale switch exhale hold inhale switch exhale hold inhale and if you can't keep your ribs down while it feels harder to hold your head up because it your neck gets tired notice what it does if you lift your head your ribs go down so that can actually be more helpful if you need it for the proper form inhale switch exhale hold inhale switch exhale hold inhale pull down switch pull down switch both feet can go down if your head is up go ahead and rest it now you're gonna zip those legs up together and this is something I want you to really take note of we're gonna lift both feet off the mat at the same time they're not gonna lift very high it's not that easy it seems like if somebody was walking by you they think you were doing nothing but it's actually really really challenging so sometimes just lightening your feet is enough all right so you don't want to lift and then do this and jerk your back around now find where you are nice and heavy in your pelvis let's do that pelvic tuck again so you're going to scoop under find that engagement and now you're going to keep it as you find weight in your pelvis now if you need to lift your head to keep your ribs down do that otherwise try to keep the head down and fight a little harder think like there's a weight on your sternum and it's weighting you down to the mat we're getting very grounded now on your inhale you're going to hover your feet and it means your abdominals have to work 10 times harder and lower back down let's actually exhale because it's going to help you a little bit inhale stay exhale and back down inhale exhale lift inhale remember the same breath from the beginning so of course if you're struggling here go back to one before you can also just kind of lighten the feet and then bring it back inhale exhale I'm sorry <laughs> and back down one more inhale stay exhale and back down excellent so now you're gonna walk your feet in just a little bit so long as you can still have weight I you know that's the goal is to be able to walk your feet in and still weight your pelvis without it scooping that way so you go to where you can maybe you can come in a little bit all right so let's do that pelvic tuck where you're scooping 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 find that heavy tailbone get everything down if you need to check like I did that's fine now head down keep all of that engagement keep the stomach and you're gonna slide one leg out and now the lower stomach on that side's got to pull back a little deeper and then drag it back in other side make sure the pull back in is pulling from this area though so in Pilates keep going on the left side in Pilates we don't just go out and then reset coming back home is work as well so now as you come back home you're fighting that your tailbone doesn't start to go with you so we're not going this way all right pelvic stability let's do one more on each leg make sure you're anchored do a pelvic tuck if you need to
and that stomach working. Exhale, inhale, try not to move the pelvis. Other side. Go, 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 go. Pull back, pull back, pull back, and come back. Good. All right, bring those knees into your chest. Rock on up. That is it for today as far as that goes. Sorry if my hair is a complete disaster for you. This is something that's great for you to do every single day. And please, if you're struggling or you're not feeling something, let me know in the comments and we'll see how we can help you out. And then if you want more videos like this, give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making this type of content. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.